So here I have the Type S bushing style full sizing dies from Reading. Uh, it is for my 65 by 55 uh, Swedish Mauser. Um, you want to take these dies if you want to control your neck tension with the help of a uh, bushing. Inside you have a bushing and with different dimensions of the bushing you will control your neck tension. Um, and uh, first of all, this video is not about how to uh, adjust this die and uh, correctly size your brass, but I want only to sh I only want to show you um, that there is something in this die that maybe if you don't control and check everything, you might not use it uh, properly. Okay, and uh, let's find out what I'm talking about. So here I have. Uh, 10, 10 uh, cases for my 65 by 55. First, we will do the first five um, with the setup uh, of the die as you get it in the box, and then uh, we will do the next five. Uh, we will measure the outer uh, neck diameter with a caliper, and uh, let's see what the result will be. Now, let's try to size five pieces of brass. and we will see what we get. Okay, now we are ready to size it. Okay, so since we have uh, the bushing inside, we should have the outer neck dimensions close to the bushing size. So let's, let's check this. So we have the outer dimension, which is Two nine three, two nine two, two nine two, two nine three, two nine two. Okay. Now, let's see what we can do to the die to improve this. Okay, so let's see how the die is made. Here I have uh, this uh, uh, Type S uh, bushing style full sizing die from Reading. Um, this is uh, the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal M Press, um, not locking ring but adapter. So it's just the standard locking ring change with this, but this is not uh, what we are interested in now. Um, if we take it apart, so we unscrew this, you will see that here we have the expander ball and the, the extractor pin. And inside we have the bushing, okay? You can see the bushing here. And here is the question, why do we need the expander ball if we use a bushing? If we really want to control the neck tension, we want to control it with the bushing and not with the expander ball. Okay, so I got 
also just the pin retainer and we can take off the expander ball and put on the pin retainer and like this when we will size the inside of the brass there will be no touching of the expander ball on the inside of the neck but the only uh, the only thing that will be done to the necks will be done by the bushing and that's what we want okay so now let's put this together and let's try the other batch of breasts and let's see what the results will be okay put back in the die and now let's size five more pieces of breast. Now I don't need to loop the interior because the die will not touch the interior of the neck. Okay, let's do the sizing. Okay, and now let's see what are the neck dimensions. So, 287. Two eight seven sorry. It seems that my battery is kind of two eight seven. Two eight seven. So there is quite a difference between the two methods. So we have 293 and 287. And even the dimensions of the second batch of brass is much more uh, cons uh, consistent. So basically what you want to do with your type S, reading type S bushing die, you want to take this off and put this other part on. As you see, this will touch the inside of your breast or of your necks, and this will not touch it. It's only holding the um, the primer uh, primer pin. So remove this and use this. In this way, you're really controlling your neck tensions. Thanks for watching the video. Please, if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I have more content coming, but I'm a little bit restricted with time. So uh, uh, next uh, will be a really nice uh, hunting video and uh, I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thanks, see you next time.